Hey guys. I got a microphone, so I'm gonna wait until there's some people here, see if they can hear me. Hello? Let me see. I wanna see if everyone's able to hear. Let's see people join. Hi guys. Can you guys hear me? Just let me know if you can hear me guys or I'll mess with the microphone more. Mm -hmm. Are you able to hear me? Hello? <coughs> Oh, good. I guess my new microphone worked. <laughs> so I thought during the live I would try to do the start of making a polymer clay diamond painting pen. Thought that that would be a nice little change rather than just watching me drill. So I'm going to try to do a Halloween one. So I have the three colors here. I have the purple, and I have the orange, and then this, I don't know if you can see, it's like a sparkly black. It's really cool. I've been using just regular Sculpey clay, and I just got this Primo stuff, but it's a lot harder to soften than the regular Sculpey stuff, so. Ugh. Let's see if I press can help me. The Primo uh, Sculpey clay I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this drill press I believe I got from Michaels. How are you doing tonight, Karen? Yeah, this is a lot harder to soften. But it's so pretty and sparkly. So for the pattern on the pen, I'm just going to marbleize all of this. Hi, Jeremy. I'm doing good. I'm glad this microphone's working out because I watched my live from last week. And yeah, it was breaking up really bad. <laughs> and just so all of you know, I've learned how to make these pens from Jeremy's videos. He's kind of awesome. Hi, Rebecca. But he taught me how to marbleize these things. Not just his videos, too. I was able to like message him all the time, pretty much, either on YouTube or through his group on Facebook. So, Jeremy, when you do these, do you use the Primo Sculpey or the regular Sculpey? This is my first round with the Primo Sculpey. And it's so much harder to get soft to work with. You should care, it's easy. But I've been like watching tutorials and stuff on how to do like um, the marble, not the marble clay, that's what we're doing, but certain patterns and stuff. And that's a lot harder to apply on the pins um, without getting the air bubbles. Because if you get an air bubble in your in your clay, hoof. That's the unhelpful. Oh, you use the regular one, yeah. Yeah, the the regular one works good. I just wanted to see, like this is on the Primo. Like this is what a black on Primo is. Do you see the sparklies in there? I don't know, my camera's not that good on my laptop. But it's like all sparkly and stuff. <laughs> so the life, my life's probably not gonna be that long because I'm cutting it so close to Dave's. 
which is my fault. I was going to do it like an hour earlier, but I didn't want to go through the same drama with the microphone where you guys couldn't hear me. But since my last live, if you guys did hear, I have sold four diamond painting pen stands, which is really exciting for me. <laughs> Here, if you guys weren't here, these are what they look like. This is my pen. Like mine just says Ash Mash. But I've sold like four since last week. So that made me really happy. But the trays on the 3D printer, those are a pain. Like I made this one on the 3D printer. Just making the cool design ones with keeping the measurements of the lines is turning out to be really a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Did you ever get those nuts done, Jeremy? I feel like you've been working on it forever. I wanted to get my hands on that new Diamond Art Club thing. Glow in the dark one. Yes, you did. <laughs> Good. Yeah, this clay is not nearly a. Gosh, it doesn't get as soft as the other kind. It's hard to harder to manipulate. Oof. Oof. And I got the right kind of glaze stuff, Jeremy. Not the bacon bond. I got the right glaze stuff. It was funny. God, that was so frustrating. You know, that pen, that very first pen that I did the video on that I was asking you about, it is still to this day all sticky. So don't get bacon bond. Get the glaze stuff. Forgot what it's called. It's in my bag, though. Should be in here. This is the stuff. Sculpey gloss glaze. That's the right stuff. Not bacon bond. I think that's for if you're like baking two pieces of clay and you want them to stick together, then you would use like the bacon bond thing. Like this is. This is what bacon bond looks like. This is not the right stuff. <laughs> Unless you're wanting to like glue things together. They're still stinky. Oh, you probably meant sticky. <laughs> you said stinky. Man, this is still not getting too soft. That's good. So I'm just going to do the marbling. Maybe. <laughs> Who was it that said they were going to try this? This is how you would do the marbling. Like I would say at least three colors would be pretty. You're just twisting and twisting and twisting. I haven't sold a polymer clay pen yet, though. I think I might need to get on Etsy here soon. I just didn't want to make an Etsy account yet until I have more products in my bucket. Like, so far, the 3D printer. It's hard to find things that people want to buy, you know? Alexa, I'm not talking to you. I didn't even say anything that sounded like Alexa. I was going to use polycrylic. Oh, for the glaze? I don't know what that is, but I'm still new to polymer clay. I'm just gonna have... Alexa, Alexa, I don't want to order anything. Gosh, she's crazy. Did you guys just hear her? She just randomly said, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're wanting to order. Crazy. 
is poly um polycrylic is that another kind of glaze karen That looks nice and Halloweeny. I still cannot believe this clay isn't that soft yet. <laughs> like the regular Sculpey clay, man. You mess with it for five minutes and it's all soft. I have noticed if I overdo this, it mixes all the colors together. But if I want to keep spinning it, you can do like an S thing like this. If I can get them even, that is. And it kind of keeps the colors together. hard because it's the clay is not very soft. This gives it another marbly look. I think I'm gonna twist it one more time. I think did Dave's live start already? I think his started already. I knew I started this one too too late. Oh. Oh, what do you think? Probably one more. Sorry, I think I just hit the microphone. It's weird, it's just sitting there. Okay, this is the last one for real. This looks super cool. Oh, Dave still has another hour for his, my bad. But I'm making good time. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. And now I found that if I like spin it, you like it? I think that looks pretty cool. Now, if we can try to run it through the pasta thing, then hopefully I don't ruin it. This is the point where I always ruin them when I try to flatten them. But this, when I spun it like this last time, it worked. Eh? Let's see if it works. Hi, Diamond Painting Insomnia. Welcome, welcome. Ha <laughs> ha. That was pretty cool. You're going live at nine. I will pop right over there. Look at that. Good evening, mommy's live. Welcome, welcome. I probably should make some nominator, numerator, denominators, nominators. Thanks. 
Okay, Rebecca, I'm gonna make you one. And then Jeremy. Can't wait to get moved to start my clay crafts again. I love clay. Like I just started this when I saw Jeremy's video about making these pens. They look pretty cool. I need a pen. I have like a bazillion pens in my stash. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, Peppers. What's everyone else working on right now? These grippy so hard to get off. I thought the plastic would melt too, but they don't because clay, you cook the, or you bake the clay on a low temperature setting um, for a bit of time. So it, I guess it doesn't melt the clay. Ooh, you're making a sweater. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna just cut it up now. What? How is that spam, Jeremy? I've gotten like like a few subscribers when you shout me out. Why would they do that? How I, I don't understand the logic behind it's spam. How is that spam? And you're not the only YouTube channel out there that does the shout out videos. There's a ton. Like how would that be spam and not like collab videos? That doesn't make any sense to me. That makes me angry. Oh my gosh, but if they cancel your YouTube, oof. Can you imagine all that work just gone? Stop where they will close my YouTube. Man, YouTube stone. You know what we need to do? We just need to come together and make our own streaming service. Screw all these stupid rules. <sighs> that makes me mad. I look forward to the shout out videos. And I get to see like channels that I don't subscribe to yet. But yeah, I mean he'd have to stop or he's gonna lose everything. Like, does that mean I'm not allowed to shout out your channel? Or you just can't have specific videos dedicated to shout outs? That's weird. I shout other channels out all the time. I mean, I guess I don't have a specific video entitled the shout out ones. The hook is all YouTubers out there. Yeah. That's crazy. All these people and these dang rules. I think they want to just control everything that's on YouTube. Of course they do. I just can't imagine where they would get it's spam. Like, where is that logic coming from? You think they think they're growing off of shout outs. Well, how else would they grow? People searching for their content? For me, that's like one of the hardest ways to grow. Cause like my, my channel is called everything 
diamond painting with Crashly. But if I post a video of making polymer clay diamond painting pens, they're gonna find like a bazillion, a bazillion videos and channels about doing this. But I came across Jeremy's channel because of the shout outs or people mentioning it. And so I was like, oh, okay, he's reputable. I'm gonna go watch his stuff. And now I don't miss a live from him because that's how I met him. But I just don't see how it's, um, but you're welcome to promote on my Facebook page any day. My Facebook page is the Everything Diamond Painting. And that's where we're doing like the DP long. Me too, it looks kind of spooky. It's spooky. I would try to do the bumps, but I'm scared I'm gonna mess with the color. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I could try to attach the bumps. I'm just afraid to mess with it. Ha, it was a good one. I didn't even know there was like, I saw the second one as the one that I kind of used. Now I'm a pro. Just kidding. I'm just trimming it. <laughs> I don't know how many mine's at. I gotta just start uploading more. It's really hard with three children. But I have that one video of the unboxing I did. Because my daughter had to be in a video. Oh my gosh. She was like, it makes me so sad I'm not in one. So she's in my Ever Moment unboxing video with a special guest. And that meant everything. She puts it we have a smart TV in our living room. My gosh, we had to watch that video over and over and over again. You guys see it? I think that turned out pretty nifty. I don't know what's up with that spot. All right, I'm gonna go pop this into the oven real quick. And then I'll show you guys my attempt at making the bump clay pins. <laughs> They're fun. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, 
Okay, stuck it in the oven, so it's just gonna be like a few minutes. Whew. Okay, let me see what's going on. My daughter likes to make her appearance well. Yep. Nice, it looks wood green. Oh, thanks. That's good, please. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Hey. Okay, so here was the one tempt I this is like just a I found if I try to make the bumps, it helps if I take my scrap my scrap clay and then try to shape it first. Uh, so like this is the double, this is the two bump one. So now I'm gonna see if I can get enough of this. I don't know if there's enough here though. We can try. Just gonna try to make it go on top. Overlap it some and see if that does the trick. Let's see. I think I've lost too much of the color. Yep. See, if you try to like do it too much, I think that you lose a lot of the color. See, it's now it's just coming out gray. Yep. So I'm gonna have to coat it with something else. But if I did like the color, I can just wrap my. I can just wrap my shell that I made, see? Because if you try to shape it out of, you know, the pattern that you made, you're gonna lose your color too much. Everyone saying hi! Put that one on the back burner. Oh, I'm saying whatever it is. Still crochet from time to time. I was by the thought that I stopped and said hello. The hardest time touching people's lives. Yep. Yep. I'm going to try to do Sunday evenings now for sure. I have a couple of hats on my channel. Hi. Hello, DPU, Cheryl, and Tippy Joy. So, what's everyone else working on? What, Dinos? Dinos. So did you guys catch the, I know you couldn't hear me on the last one, but like, did anyone see what all I plan on taking to the craft show at the end of October? If not, I can show you now if you would like to see. I am working and lurking with, oh, cool. Cottage by the sea. Has anyone attempted the bumps and pollen? I've never seen it. Yep. And it's not so bad. The only thing is it's it, it's hard to get them perfectly round. But I got that great sandpaper that like I could use to buff it out. But I would definitely say use your um like leftover clay to do the show and then put your pretties over it. Okay, you want to see. All right, let me get the works that I'm taking to the show. To the show. I'm just going to undo this so I have one more room. Oh my gosh, that handle. Does yours do that too, Jeremy? <laughs> Every time you bump this handle, it just falls out. It is crazy. Okay, let me go get my diamond pen. Okay. Sorry, there's a few. There we go. Uh, I just 
see. I tried to bounce down that hard all the time. Yep. So here was my attempt at a three bumper. And this is made out of straight clay. See, it's not too super bad. Here's my tip. See? It's not that bad. It feels good. It's just a lot of shaping. Feels good. And so I, I had to take a, um, like with those pink pens, this is one, one and a half pink pens. <laughs> I had to cut the other one in half and then like super glue it together. It's like, I don't know, like right there, fasten it really tight. Do you use tools to get the shape? The only tools I use are my thumbs and my hands, which that's what made it harder. Like I held it up like this and then like I that's this is how I smoothed it. I'll go up, then I go down, down, and then it's a lot of rolling like this because if you do it flat, then you'll lose your bumps. It's a lot of rolling like this to get it flattened. And it just takes time. But to start out, I, I roll it just how I did that one that I just did. And then I put extra strips right here. Like I put the three extra strips of clay and then smooth it out like this and then bring it together by like going up and down. But that's that one. This is the, a double bump one that I did. This one's my fave. It's good. And this is just one. And then this is just the straight one. This is the very first one I did. I love it. Oh, I think my oven's done preheating. Be right back. I gotta go pop this in and then I'll show you what I'm taking. Okay, half of the oven. And so I bake it at 230 degrees for 20 minutes. Uh, let me see if you miss anything. Oh, you thought the four things. Thank you. So as far as what I'm taking to the craft show, I'm going to be making a few more pens to take. And I will be taking my pen stands. And then these diamond paintings. This is a round drill diamond painting that I had purchased from Amazon. And it is, how big is it? Oh, it's 50 by 40, it says so. Giant on the top. 50 by 40. Tree branch fell on my truck, oh gosh. Good luck, God button eyes. That sounds very odd, but not nice. I <laughs> get it, I'm funny. Okay. Yeah, I hope everything's okay. And I'm taking this dragon one. This is also, it says 46 by 36. Gotta go cut the branch up. Okay, good luck, odd but nice. This is the dragon one I'm taking. 
So I'm going to sell them at cost plus at least, mm, I don't know, I think $30. See if they sell. Got this train one, 12 by 16 inches. And then over here, I'm going to take, but he's going to be framed in a shadow box. I have him on the back of this paper, like just sparkly gray paper, and I'm going to put him in a shadow box. Then I got his twin brother right here. And this one, I bought the twin pack on Amazon, Yoda and Vader. That one's extra sparkly. Dang! That's fancy. Oh, I guess I left. <laughs> oh, last time somebody wanted to see the Vader one. This is the Vader one it came with. It's not done though. Oh, I got the gold. Then I have one more. Another cute one. Okay. So these are also, I bought a four pack of Christmas ones. And so I did two of them so far. They're just little bitty guys, but they're cute. Yeah, that one's actually sparkly too. Um, this one, I think it's Twilight Sparkles for My Little Pony. She's nice and sparkly too. This is an Evermillet one. These still have to be sealed. But I'll probably frame some of them, like go to the Dollar Tree and see what I can come up with there. I'm also working on doing a multi panel one to take. And that's the diamond painting I'm working on. What now? I'm going to see if I can go get that. I don't know if my tree's gonna fit up here. Oh, good, it does. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. So, this is the multi panel one I'm doing right now. Um, it's really hard to show you a multi panel. Um, I wonder if there's a picture preview on one of these things. Should be a picture. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's what it looks like. It says home. But there's like a wreath in the middle for the O. So I wanted to bring a variety. And I really think people will like the multi panel ones because they just look pretty in like any home. Oh, bye, Mommy's Live. Go feed your family. Oh, go ahead and feed your family. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and I knew that this one was going to be a short live anyway, but I'm super glad the microphone worked out. And I know next week I'm sure it's going to be a longer one, and I'll try to do something different. But I really do appreciate you all coming. It means so much. But I'll probably head off here and go get something to eat before... I go watch Dave's live. So again, I really, really, really appreciate you guys coming so very much. And I will see everyone in Dave's live. Bye, everyone. Oh, and I'll be on next week on Sunday too, by the way. <laughs> Bye.